Those that did not flee the city of Pompeii in August of 79 AD were doomed, buried for nearly 2000 years under volcanic ash and pumice. The people of Pompeii were reduced to skeletons and voids into the ash, which preserved their moment of death, frozen in time. And with them lie buried their stories that we're going to explore on this video. If you like videos about history and discoveries, subscribe to our channel. Horrifying and unforgettable images that show the victims of Pompeii and Herculano. Many of these victims were just killed on the spot when the volcano erupted. Among them, many children, such as a young boy which was found in the remains of a house known as the House of the Golden Bracelet. An exhumation put the number of the victims of the two Roman cities in at least 2,000 residents that died on that terrible day, either trapped in building or hiding with their family members wherever they could. Their stories are not yet fully known, still it's possible that more bodies can be found. The death toll of the eruption remains unknown, but it's likely that the population of Pompeii and Herculano together was over 20,000 people. We want to tell the stories of the victims, starting with the young boy and his family. The story of the boy The stories of the residents and who they were can be told by the location on where their bodies were found, their clothing, jewelry and other signs in their skeletons, like their teeth and the state of their bones, all captured in the moment of their final hours. The houses in Pompeii were covered by a huge amount of ashes, which fallen onto their doomed city for 18 hours and choked their citizens. A body of a boy was found. The boy was probably not more than four years old, by estimation based on his size. He was found in the location in Pompeii, known as the House of the Golden Bracelet. The boy was probably hiding there with his family moments before the disaster which struck the city. Extraordinarily, we can see his clothing by looking closely at the cast of the boy. Also is visible the peaceful expression on his face. Another touching image is the one of a woman with a young child still on her laps, probably their mom. The house of the wedding of Alexander the villa was one of the most wealthy in Pompeii. Its walls were richly decorated with frescoes presenting theatrical scenes and the floors covered with complex black and white geometrical mosaics. One of the frescoes illustrates the wedding of Alexander the Great and his wife Roxana. These frescoes gave the name of this house, which is called the House of the Wedding of Alexander. The house have an amazing restored garden on the back, with fountains and the natural beauty of the flora merging with the marvelous paintings on the walls. But the house gained a new name, the house of the golden bracelet and its last owners. After a beautiful golden bracelet was found on one of the victims, most likely the wife of the owner of the residence. The bracelet weighs 0.6 kilograms, with a shape of a snake with two heads, which are holding a medallion, with an image of a woman, possibly a goddess. The house started to be excavated in 1958, and by the early 70s, the archaeologists uncovered the building completely. Unfortunately, all the wealth of the family didn't help them to escape from the disaster. Their bodies were found among the ruins of the house. By the place where they were found, looks like they tried to escape, running up on the stairs, which would lead them to the inner garden from where they could access the sea. But they were not lucky. The wooden stair collapsed and their bodies were found centuries later, lying under those stairs. There were 1,150 bodies found in Pompeii and only around a hundred have been preserved in the plaster cast form. 
another devastating story is the story of the chained slave. Slavery was a common thing in Pompeii, and it was all over the ancient world, and nothing demonstrates this better than a remaining of a body of a slave which was chained and shackled to the wall during the eruption. The victim has no chance to even try to escape for the volcano eruption. He could only wait until the trauma hit. His body was found lying face down on the ground. It's a sad image of the man who's the only way to escape his horrible fate is by death. The Two Maidens A famous skeletal remain is the one of two people that seem that they died close to each other in Pompeii. Originally, it was believed that it was two women and this is why the skeletons were named the Two Maidens. They were erroneously assumed to be women because of their posture and the shapeliness of their legs. However, after a deeper anthropological test were done on the two skeletons, bones and teeth, it was revealed that those are actually two males. At the beginning, the assumption was that maybe they are related, but the DNA analysis confirmed that the two were neither brothers nor father and son. One aged about 18 and the second was approximately 20 years old. Some news stories have come to the conclusion that they were, therefore, lovers, which is not remotely supported by the evidence and seems to be just another iteration of the same prejudice that caused the original Two Maidens error. The Guard Dog There is one more story to tell about another inhabitant of Pompeii, a guard dog. The dog was left attached to the post while his owner probably was running to flee from the eruption. What indicates the dog was a guard dog is the remains of his collar, which are brown studs around his neck. As this type of animals are commonly depicted in Roman mosaics, once the pumice were falling, the dog was climbing higher, but eventually he ran out of chain and suffocated. He was found near the house of Orpheus. The position of the plaster cast shows the distress of the animal, and just like the other human casts, they show their pain from their body positions and faces expressions. This makes Pompeii scary, but yet a fascinating mystery. How the victims of Pompeii really died During the volcano eruption, people were hit by rocks and debris, choking on gas and fumes, and sometimes dying instantly from the heat. With an unpredicted eruption, which destroyed some of the buildings and monuments, and preserved others, people died almost instantly, as can be seen by the shape of their bodies, which were left behind. Most of the researchers now believe that Pompeii was hit by the so-called pyroclastic flow, a dense, fast-moving flow of solidified lava pieces, volcanic ash and hot gases that hit the ancient Roman city minutes after the volcano erupted. Another example of this kind of volcanic eruption is the eruption of the Mount St. Helens, which happened in the 1980s in the United States in the state of Washington. The Plaster Technique The bodies of the victims in Pompeii were preserved in a kind of protective shell, buried 6 meters deep in ash and calcified over the centuries. When the skin and tissues of these bodies eventually decayed, they left voids in the layer of ash around them, in the exact shape of their final moments. In the 18th century excavations of Pompeii, the Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli came up with an idea of reconstructing these bodies by researching on a street known as the Alley of the Skeletons and discovering air pockets on the site and that they indicate the presence of human remains, Fiorelli and his team decided to pour plaster into the voids. They let the plaster harden and then chipped away the outer layers of ash, leaving behind a cast of the victims at their time of death. These plaster outlines preserve the voids left by the bodies, giving us a glimpse into the moment of the tragic end that so many lives had at once in this doomed city. Their preserved expression of horror and pain 
remind us of their humanity, that they were just like you and me, but suffered a terrible fate, giving a strange feeling to the ancient city. Pompeii and its small neighboring village of Herculanum fade out from history on that fatidic day. The once rich and prosperous city disappeared from the face of earth, a popular holiday destination for the Romans. The word pompous in English meaning full of grandiose captured perfectly the atmosphere of the city. Pompeii was unique in its majestic lands, dynamic market life and trading success. We can only imagine the marvelous festivals and processions that once stood on its paved streets, the fights which happened on its arena, the comedies and tragedies presented on its theaters. The city would be vibrant and full of shops, brothels, fast food venues, bakeries and temples. And all of this was destroyed in minutes. This is not the only volcano which brought a calamity, but the only one to have opened a window to the past. The only way we can avoid the mistakes of the past is by having knowledge. And if you want more knowledge about the ancient world, consider to subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed the video, do like the Romans do and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our future videos. If you found this video interesting, feel free to share on Facebook, Reddit or other social media to help this channel grow. Tibi gratias a go pro vigilabo.